Hey guys, welcome back to the 30 something episode of the Bye Live Kids and Career Mode. Sorry, I haven't recorded in a few days, I've had stuff to do, been busy. This is uh, just a show of the league table. So far, we're two points clear of Bayern Munich, but four behind in goal difference. Same goal as before, but more against. Lost only two games, though. So we're, we're having a pretty good season, I have to say. We're doing well, and we're quite a bit ahead against. <coughs> ahead of um, Augsburg, who are in third. And let's go straight into this game against Paderborn and see how well we can do. Let's go right in. Some players have gone up. As you see, Castro, Bellerin, and Karakas have all gone up in their ratings, which is good to see. And yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this career mode. Also, there was uh, something about a Uruguay uh, international management offer I should I could take, but I didn't get any comments. Not surprisingly. Come on, guys, you need to leave me. Leave me some love. But, um,. Hello, yeah, to I'm gonna to probably Bundesliga. take it, but, or I might just wait till May to see if I get um, any other good offers. Why is this so easy? Oh my days! Kick off glitch again. <laughs> yeah, um, also talk about Ultimate Team. I'm thinking about. Guy, uh, yeah, I don't know. I wanna do like a series, but then I'm not going to, but. Mm. Also, guys, I've got um, some advice. Maybe it's a good idea to buy Harry Kane's second and form or his first and form at their cheapest now because he's probably going to get an upgrade to gold if he gets a 74 in his second and form. He probably is going to get an upgrade to gold, which means his in form prices will rocket. Or if, if, what, if, or if he gets an upgrade to rare silver, his in forms will go up to gold rated, but then that will not be a good thing because their prices will go down. But, um,. Either that or what you should try is buy buy Inform Balassi, second inform Balassi. He's a 76 rated gold winger, looks pretty awesome to be honest. His regular card is silver and his first inform is silver. But the thing is if you get his but his second inform is going for 60 or K, something like that. But the thing is if he gets an upgrade to five star skills and maybe to gold, then his 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 price is gonna skyrocket. And he'll be properly good. Come on, my pie. Ah, oh, so close. Come on, we're only well. We're only 11 minutes through the game. We're already winning, so we're keeping our winning run up in the league. Well, we lost a few games ago, but you know what I mean. We're, we're mostly winning. So there's a corner. Brant's cross blocked, and Cruiser to take the corner. And he's going to whip it right into someone. Nicholas who was meant to head that, but if you saw in the camera, he got pulled back. So that could you could say that's a penalty, but. Nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for it. It's soft. Cruiser. Cruiser puts in the ball to Drimic. Oh, that was close. Here's an opportunity, maybe. Cruiser. Oh, it's two. Robbie Cruiser's on fire today in the cam spot. Fourth goal in the Bundesliga for the Australian. Wow, that's really good. Let's see if he can get a hat trick. That'd be a nice thing for him. We're only 18 minutes in already. It's crazy how. Uh, how well we're doing. I mean, I haven't played in about four days this career mode, and I haven't really played much else. I was playing another career mode on World Class, and it was flipping hard. This seems just easy. I mean, I was playing against like Crystal Palace and stuff, but still. Oh my days! Cruiser was so close to scoring his hat trick. I thought that took a deflection. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Let's keep playing the game and see how well we can do. And Castro had that. Okay, that was not the best place to head it, but Drimic has used his strength to get Cruiser. the defender off him. Ihan. Oh, Ihan's put the ball to Cruiser. Drill it. Oh, it's three. It's three. I don't believe this. 25 minutes in already. My days. What a lovely ball in. A good ball in over the top from um, Ihan. And then Cruiser just wellies it in. Oh, my. This game is literally just. Is everyone on drugs or something? This is absolutely mental. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record the, all the footage of this game. If not, then I'm really sorry. But I'll just tell you what happened. That's 12th goal for Josip Drimic in the Bundesliga now. Crazy. And we're only 28 minutes through. This doesn't even feel like world class. This feels like semi-pro, to be honest. And that's our free kick. Thank you very much. Now I can start having a bit of fun now, since we are literally just dominating. Let's have a bit of fun with eye hand and see if how far we can whip this. <laughs> Not far, but anyway. Let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, we are a four minute half, so it just seems to be going really slowly. 
So I don't think we're going to have any time after the game to like make new arrangements or anything. That's a foul referee. A I wonder who has a power free kick, but let's just give it a try. <laughs> he doesn't even have any good free kick accuracy. Does Castro, but it's still worth a try. And I took it pretty poorly, to be honest. But you're going to head that Castro. If, well, maybe not, but Sula's got the ball. Pass Cruiser. it to Cruiser. Out wide to Brandt. Brandt, who I expect to be kind of playing really well this season or in the next few seasons. He's got three ratings this season already, and I'm really looking looking forward to how he's going to turn out the in the player, future because he's got out. really high potential. He's something like 86, which is really good, and he's only still 19, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But let's, keep, let's just keep playing and see how well we do. High hands away. High hands put a ball. Ah, oh, Cruiser's only got a two-star left foot, so that was pretty poor there. We could, we've we've had more chances. We could be six up right now. <clears throat> so you know we are. I have to say this is this is a blinder of a game. We're playing really really well. Now the pass is just starting to not go on target, but we are literally dominating the possession as well. Ihan, oh can Ihan, you should have done better there. Oh my days, we put so many, we've had so many chances, so many shots through. But yeah, it's. It, but I know four 0 up after Robbie 28 Cruz. minutes was pretty they decent in my opinion. I like having someone like Ihan there because he's got decent shot. Well, not that bad. He's got like 83 power or something, which is really quite good for a centre back. Centre back, he plays at CDM and right back as well, so he can definitely probably not going to use him as a centre back in the future because I'm definitely he's one of my probably must buys now because he's been he's, he's, he's awesome in my opinion but anyway that's half time done Robert Cruz has just used the kickoff glitch there already look three goals one goal and assists from Drummich, Castro and Ihan there's one up I think I'm guessing one was a steal or something or just didn't get the assist on the deflection or whatever. But the I have a feeling this side. half are not going to do much. They're just not going to push it out. They're going to try and just pull back down. They're not even going to try, I don't think. Either that or they'll go right at us. Because there's no ne real need to try now. They've lost, so, you know. And Ihan's running. By the Cruiser. Cruiser's going to... Come on, use the pace. Two-star weak foot. Uh, he's got a two-star. That was going to go in, but nice little roulette there. And Cruz is here to whip in the corner. He's going to whip it in to Brandt, who puts it out to where the ball is put out to Vendel. Brandt. Ah, that's poor. Julian Brandt, come on. Let's keep going. I have to say, Mopa, I haven't seen Mopa do much. He did a little bit in the first ten minutes, but not much. But then again... He's still young, but he's growing quite nicely this season, I have to say. So definitely one for the future, and, and hopefully the we'll be able to buy him next season. If not, I might get a different here. young striker. Because I like, as I've said before, I Robbie think Cruz. I'd like to have my main man, my Lacazette, and then have the, the kind of Drummich as forever. the second striker. Oh, he must put that into his own net. Wow. And then, as, and then my third one is a young player who's going to grow up really high. So, for instance, my Southampton career mode, it was like. Pella, Long, and then Martial, but then I never really use Pella because he's useless well, he's in the super. Mate, it's annoying about pace because well, what was that? Pella's really good in real life, but corner. can't run for like for days in FIFA. So you know, but um, but then Martial became the second strike after Artem Dzyuba. I think glitched and has somehow gone up to 88 rated, which is sick. He's just the best striker. He's like Ebra but better. But um, anyway, we're not going to go into the subject of myself because I've done five shot. seasons, so there's a lot to say. Anyway, let's keep going. I'm thinking that Uruguay offer is very tempting because Uruguay a good side, but the thing is, if I I, I know I'll get to use the likes of Luis Suarez, Edinson Cavani, but are there any other Uruguay players that are that promising other than those two and maybe Diego Godin and Fernando Mislera as the keeper because. Caceres is good, I know he's a good centre back, he's overpowered, but I don't know, to be honest. I want to see what other national teams come in for me. And plus, I've never particularly liked Uruguay as a national side, I've always preferred like 
you know, look at Brazil, so Spain, possession. Germany, those sides. I also like Switzerland a lot, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Artes is running down the, the left side, and he put, gives it to Sula, who's been very good this season, I have to say. We paid something like 3.8 mil for him. He's also requesting 35k a week in this squad. It's crazy how he's not getting paid much at um, Hoffenheim. Let's make some subs. Because Hoffenheim was on 8k a week, something like that. and um, But his value puts him at around 35k a week, which is crazy money. But this is crazy, in, I mean, in comparison to how good the centre-back is. Because, I mean, Nicolas Sula is actually really good. He played first. He plays first team for Hoffenheim in, in real life. And... and was uh, and was like a first team run here before he bought him, but I guess he took the opportunity to go to a better club than uh, than Hoffenheim. I mean, Hoffenheim are a good team, got some decent Alphonse. youth. Like I mean, they've got some good players. Rudy's a good player. He scored some nice goals against us. That's Paul. I know. Come on. Um, who else? They've got they've got Roberto Firmino, who we all know is a very good player. Kevin Volland as well, one of Germany's yeah, uprising stars. So they some, right some good young players in their side, but they're not going to well. well, yeah, I mean, do any damage, you hopefully. Want, you want to have a clean sheet. I mean, they did an easy go 2 2 against us last time. Really scored two fantastic goals. So, you know, they've got some, they've got some force in them. They've also got the, one of the best free kick takers in the league, not the King. I think King is Chan Oglu. In, um, what's his name? Uh, Sayed Salihovic. So, you know, but anyway, we haven't got much time left. And, oh no, that was not a wise idea. That was not a wise idea. Okay, well, 4 2, 4 0 to 4 2. Uh, that was, that's quite unconvincing. Let's hope it doesn't go to 4 3, because that'll just be more like, how did you concede three goals when you were 4 0 up? Come on, Lacazette. Come on, Lacazette, really. Alex Lacazette, I'm so looking forward to his upgrade. I mean, he, he, he will be amazing. He is amazing already on FIFA. Oh, that's a f he's just so close. We were literally really close there. Let's, let's give it to Brandt. Let's, let's see how far he can run in. Like getting tackled. What the hell? Really? He just tripped over him. But anyway, guys, that is the end of today's game. What a demolition. Just what Jumich had the highest score, even though Cruz has scored three goals. But, yes, so he's, he's been really good today. What a game. 14 shots in, with nine on target for us. Really, really good. Very pleased with that performance. And now we have Bajik Tash again. We, uh, also, I'm going to stall that. Okay, let's, let's, let's praise Bayer Leverkusen because we've been we've top-tastic this season. And we have another, another monthly scouting update. So, no, nah, nothing from Italy. We'll look at that another time. But, um... Oh. It could be quite good. Oh, we don't have the money. Dang. Um... Yeah, we have literally no money. So maybe it wasn't the best idea to go spending a lot on contracts. But... Yeah. Anyway, let's make the team for the next game. We're going to have our strongest side out there. We're going to have some big, big players in the team because uh, it's going to be a difficult fixture. I mean, we are at home to uh, to um, Bajik Tash, but they're still good. I mean, we did beat them like 4 0 away. So basically, we're set to the next round, but. Still, you know, it is, it is, it is going to be difficult. So, guys, anyway, oh, Schalke beating Real Madrid, wow. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope the support keeps coming on, and I'll see you soon. Bye.